everyone, this is Primitive Data, and today's video should serve as instructions on how to assemble one of our odometry modules. You can find a complete list of parts and a CAD download in the description below. To start off, let's take our rev encoder and the 3D printed plate with the circle cut out of it and screw them into each other so that the dents or the insets of the plate fit into the rev encoder like so. So go ahead and screw these together like this. Once you've screwed both screws in and attached the plate, take the half inch hex insert and insert it into the back of the encoder like this. It should snap right in and shouldn't be able to wiggle or anything. Next, take your 35 millimeter Rotocaster Omni wheel and you can see there's little grooves on the insert and there's also little grooves in the inside of the wheel. So you need to line these up and press the wheel onto the insert. When the wheel's on, you should spin it and just make sure that the encoder spins with the wheel, which you can see here. And then also the wheel doesn't have too much play in it. And even though the insert's really small, it should fit really snugly and not allow the wheel to wiggle. Then take the small insert for the other side of the wheel and fit it in just like you did before. The last step for finishing the axle is going to be to take uh, the screw, feed it through this end, it should fit within the profile of the insert, and then take the nut, which should fit into the back side of the other insert, and screw it together so that your axle is nice and solid. With the axle complete, you should notice that the nut fits perfectly within the profile of the encoder and that the screw head fits within the profile of this insert and that everything spins nice and smoothly together like this. With that out of the way, we're gonna move on to attaching the other half of the odometry module. So that means taking all four of these 14 millimeter standoffs and screwing them into this plate so that it sticks out this way. So you'll notice that this standoff up here might seem like you don't need it for anything um, because you've got all three of these. But what this is meant for is if you have a spring, a rubber band, anything to keep the tension of your odometry module with the ground, this is what that standoff is for. So if you have a rubber band, uh, you should put that on now before we put the other plate on. Right, so now we're going to put the 8mm ID bearing into this plate. So on the plate you can notice that there are some bumps. The bumps are going to face into the other plate, like this. So take the eight millimeter bearing and put the flange on the bump side and it should press fit in nicely like that. One of the last steps here, take the bumps, again the bump side and align them with the standoffs, but also you have to align the outside of this insert with the inside of the bearing. So it should fit together nicely like this and when it's all lined up, go ahead and put your last four screws in each of the four holes. All right, so now that the bulk of the module is complete, you're ready to put in the last two bearings. And these bearings have a six millimeter ID so that they can fit on a GoBuilda standoff. And the point of this is that the odometry module can um, be pressed against the ground and have a lot of friction. So take the, the bearings and press them into the plates so that the flange of the bearing faces out. So one will have the flange on this side and one will have the flange on this side. When both bearings are in place, this module is effectively complete. But for this video, I'm gonna show you how you can integrate this odometry module into a GoBuilda channel. Because I know a lot of teams use GoBuilda, it's a really popular building system. So we designed this odometry module so that it can fit within a GoBuilda channel and that so that teams can use it on their drivetrains. To properly integrate the module with a uh, GoBuilda channel, we have these two additional 3D printed spacers. And what this does is they'll stop the module from sliding side to side on the standoff. So before we put the module in the channel, slide all of the spacers and the module onto one of the standoffs. And these standoffs are 43 millimeters in length because that is the width of the inside of a GoBuilda channel. So once it's like this, 
you can screw it in uh, to really any set of holes in the channel, depending on how low you want your odometry to hang below the robot. So here I've screwed in the module into this hole on both sides, and it should swing pretty, pretty freely. Um, and there you go. So this is the odometry module we designed to be compatible with GoBuilda. You can find all the parts again in the description, and I hope that your team finds some use out of this so that they can implement odometry into their robot this year.